Well, hello. We're here to do our Q and A. I don't know, number forty, I think. Okay. And happy Thanksgiving. Uh, this happens to fall on our Thanksgiving day, so. And we have a snowstorm outside. And a snowstorm. Yeah. So I'll. Uh, I don't know. Put a picture or something somewhere, but it's crazy out there, and we're heading down to Davy's house. But okay. So we'll do uh, about four questions today. Okay, Terry Allen, Mama O. What is your favorite routine like for house cleaning? Not favorite. What is your daily routine? Oh, what did I say? Favorite? favorite. Okay. <laughs> so I don't have a favorite anyway. <laughs> what is your daily routine for house cleaning? I I know you pick up after Sunday on with the family, but when do you vacuum and deep clean and laundry and meal planning? Also, when do you shop and where do you shop? Thank you for your great videos. Okay, so first of all, uh, my daily routine is, uh, it's different every day. It depends on if I'm babysitting or if I'm going out to eat or what I'm, what I'm doing or gardening or uh, kind of work around Papa O's schedule when he goes to school and stuff. So like for house cleaning, I just clean when it needs it. I used to vacuum and mop every day but I don't need to now I just do it mostly on Sunday it's just two of us and uh, I just uh, clean up mostly on the Monday after Sunday when I mop and vacuum and stuff and um, and I don't really do deep cleaning uh, I just don't see a necessity for that because <laughs> I I don't know I think cleaning just works fine. I guess you mean like cleaning carpets and uh, washing walls and stuff. I never do that. Or windows. Or windows. If they're dirty, I'll clean them. If they're not, I don't. Um, if a carpet needs cleaning, we clean it. But I don't really do any deep cleaning. And laundry, on it's a, like on a, regular on a regular basis. Laundry, just do a, what when it needs it every three days. I used to do three or four loads every day when the kids are little. Now it's just pretty easy, just once every three days or so. And meal plan, I don't meal plan because I used to when the kids were little, uh, but with me and Joe, we just eat leftovers. Uh, uh, no, we have our favorite recipes. We have our favorite recipes. Skeddy. Skeddy. <laughs> and if the kids drop in, then it's skeddy for that day. Um, and Papa O loves egg on bread or tomato on bread during tomato season, so that's real easy. So I don't really meal plan. On bread, we mean your homemade wheat homemade bread. Homemade wheat bread. I'll yeah. post a video of that up here. And I shop at Costco and Walmart. Um, and uh, let's see. And thank you for your great. Oh, thank you. Uh, that's nice of you to say that. But I'm not much to one of. Uh, one to plan much just if it needs to be done it it gets done because uh, who thought that I'd be so busy after the kids were grown but I always worried about what am I gonna do with my time when the kids leave <laughs> what about you well Papa oh he's a he's a self motivator he always has something to do no matter what he's just always doing something he never sits and watches TV we uh, we do one vid one movie a day, or we're, I mean, we'll sit and watch something, but he's a self-motivator. Thanks, hon. Well, you are. You just, he'll be studying a language or studying something about computers or studying something. Uh, always want or, to learn. Or learning in the, the details of YouTube and monetizing. And yeah, and monetizing. You do that too, don't you? Well, kind of, if I have to learn. Uh, Papa always says, you need to learn this. You need to keep going. I thought, oh, so much work to learn learn new stuff. I'm not the self-motivator. I will learn it if I have to. If it's something that uh, needs to be done or needs to be learned. Uh, I'm trying to get comfortable here. I'm working on the jammies. I've got to have them ready by tomorrow. Uh, okay. Sweet, sweeten a bean? Sweeten a bean? Probably be nina bean. Sweet nina bean. Thanks, son. Uh, well, it looks like it should be yeah, nina bean. Yeah, sweet nina bean. I'm trying to make it more complicated. <laughs> okay, I love being a mom of girls. Do you have brothers? Uh, girls, thanks for uh, the fun vlogs. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you so much. And it is fun being uh, a mom of girls because you can take them shopping. Boys don't care for that much. But I do have brothers. I have eight brothers. And 
there's seven girls so uh, we have a very large family and and grown up with my brothers they were very nice I have very good brothers and they're still really nice so there were the three boys six girls and three boys and then a girl and two boys and the two twins that and the two twins that died yes yeah. mm -hmm. okay this is Lori Padilla 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 okay uh, DIY on your popcorn balls and I'll, I'll post that uh, I think that was last week and then the week before it was the week after Halloween uh, we did a oh and then uh, KS oh, CCS <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself CC Skid, schedule schedule I guess I yeah don't know. CC schedule CCS kids um, Kidgel, yeah. Are you going to do a tutorial on your homemade donuts? Please and thanks. Yes, and I'll post a DIY You've on You've done one already. Yes, I've done one, and I posted that one after Thanksgiving. So we did the popcorn balls, and we did the uh, donuts. And when I'm making something, I just think, oh, hurry and get the camera out, and then I, w I can do a DIY on that. So uh, that's all the questions we'll do, but we'll do a quick uh, gratitude since it's Thanksgiving. I... Uh, what, you want to say some things you're thankful for? Happiness is attitude. So be positive all the time and be thankful. I like that. And it's hard to be positive. And you kind of think you get, you're being picked on sometimes, but you're really not. Everybody has trials. We just do. You can't get out of this life without trials. It's just the way it is. And... Uh, so if you think, well, this is what I've got to go through right now, and just do the best you can with, with what you have. I like that. And no matter where you are in society, there's people a lot, a lot worse off than you are. Mm -hmm. You can always find somebody that's worse off, and you can always find somebody that's better off. So be thankful. For be thankful. You are. Why, why compare yourself to someone that's better off? You'll just be depressed. So don't do that. Um, and compare yourself to someone that doesn't have what you have, and then you'll be grateful. You'll say, wow, I do have a lot. I really do. And I'm thankful for my family, my husband, uh, Joe, and I'm thankful for my brothers and sisters. Family really, really is where it's at. And, um, I mean, if you, if you have a bad relationship with your ha family, you can fix it. You can get a good relationship with them. They're your family. Uh... You think, well, we never got along. Say, well, time to change that. Start getting along. Part of the secret of getting along is is not to hold grudges. That's, it's just to forgive. That's right. Forgive and forget. You'll never forget it, but you can forgive them. And yeah. smile instead and of... Smile and just just let it go. Like, uh, family, you're, uh, they're the ones that's going to cry when you die. That rhymes. But uh, when you're gone, they're the ones that's going to miss you. <laughs> But um, that's what I'm thankful for, and just thankful to be born in America. Thankful to be born where we have so many niceties. We uh, we live better than kings did. We have flushing indoor bathrooms. We have running water. We have electricity. We really have a lot. Uh, so we, we're blessed for that. And we'll close with a uh, kiss. <laughs> before the kiss, we'll do a quote. <laughs> Okay, criticism is like rain. It should be gentle enough to nourish a man's growth without destroying his roots. What, isn't there something if you plant it and you overwater it, it'll kill a plant? Probably. Tomato, <laughs> I think it's tomatoes. Tomatoes, yeah. I uh, just don't, too much water can be destroying, but it can be destructive. Meaning anything. Anything. Too so much of it. compare criticism to rain. It, it can be good, but if it's gently pour uh, gentle on someone then it could be constructive if you just let them have it all at once it can be destructive so thank you for your thank you for your likes and comments and subscribe subscriptions subscribing and thank you and happy thanksgiving and good night everybody good night. now the kiss <laughs>